Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm going to be doing a fun get ready with me today using the Tarte Showstopper Clay Palette. You know, I got this palette and I was like, oh, did I really need that? Should I return it? I hadn't used it yet. I just kind of set it to the side for a while. But once I started using it, I love it. It is such good quality. So like bronzy and smoky and just perfect for the summertime. I really enjoy this palette and I'm so glad that I got it. So I thought it would be kind of fun to do like my full face and do a little get ready with me. So that's the style of video we're going to do today. I don't do a lot of these, so let me know what you think about them. But this is the look. It's kind of like a rosy, bronzy kind of a color. I really, really like it. Um, so if you want to see how to get it, then just keep watching. So I think I'm going to do this get ready with me style because I really don't do a ton of these type of videos. But this way you can see like the full process from this to a little bit different. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with my Lancome Tint Eye Doll Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques, um, I don't know what this is called, buffing brush. And just apply this to my face. do my brows with Max Fling. Now I'm going to take some Urban Decay's Primer Potion. put some of Max Painterly Paint Pot on the top half of my lids. I just like doing this because it cancels out any veining, discoloration, anything like that, and it also helps my eyeshadow stay on longer, so I almost always do this. Then I'm going to take this Rimmel Scandalized Eyeshadow Stick in Bluffing and apply that to my lids. I love these eyeshadow sticks. They are such good quality. They're so inexpensive. I just love them. Now I'm gonna go in with my palette. I'm gonna get some of the bronzer, this color, and the blush, kind of all three mixed together. And I'm going to apply that into my crease and transition area. And really just blend that well. take some of this color this is rose to the top and I'm putting it on like a tiny little crease brush I got this at CVS it's ex expired no it's not expired it's still usable it's discontinued but any kind of a small brush that you have that you can use will work and I'm just gonna apply this onto my lid we're just making a nice kind of I don't know bronzy rosy smoky eye today I think that this is officially my favorite color from this palette I just love it it's almost like a bronzy, darker rose gold. So it's just a really unique color, but it is beautiful. Now I'm gonna take some of Dim the Lights on that same brush and apply that kind of along my lash line, but I am gonna put a little bit in my outer corner just because I like the dimension it gives my eyes. So along the lash line, and in the outer corner. And then I'm gonna place some of Rose to the top on my lower lash line using a Sedona Lace EB21 brush. look really smudgy and smoky so first I'm going to tight line with my Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Cole Kajal in black and then I'm going to smudge the same pencil in brown along my upper and lower lash line. I'm just using like a I think this is a, like a BH Cosmetics brush or something like that but any kind of a brush that you can smudge with.
smudge a little bit more of rose at the top right on top of that liner. Just I want to bring that color back just a little bit. And now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm going to be using the CoverGirl the Super Sizer and also the Clump Crusher. Okay, now for some concealer. So first I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me. I use it in the color Fair 15. And I like to apply this. Well, kind of in a V shape, but really like right in that spot because that's where I get kind of the most darkness. And I'm going to use my Sedona Lace, what is this, 217 brush. I love this brush for concealer. I really like this concealer. I got it on a whim, well, not even on a whim, but I, w I couldn't find the Dream Lumi. They were sold out everywhere. So I got this one and I actually really like it. I might, I might like it better than the Dream Lumi. I don't know. It's good stuff. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles in light and apply that kind of right over the top, but I really more concentrate this one right on the darkest spot too. I mean, really all my concealers, I kind of start there because that's where I get the darkest and then I just kind of blend it over. This is also how I clean up my eye looks. I just take a little bit of concealer on the side and it just cleans it right up. Now I'm gonna take my really gross looking MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I wear it in NW20, and I just apply this with my fingers and concentrate it right in that darkest spot too. To take a little bit of that on that same 217 brush and like apply it around my nose. Sometimes I do that. Um, just any areas that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage with on, not with, a little more coverage on, I will use um, the MAC Pro Longwear. And my nose is usually that spot because for whatever reason, I don't know, it, sometimes things just don't blend there. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead. Sometimes I do that too. And then I'm going to set that with this powder that I love. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Powder Foundation. I wear it in light to Mont Blanc. And I'm going to use an e.l.f. small tapered brush. I love this brush for setting my under eyes. And I'm going to set under my eyes, but also I use this powder on my nose, really in my T-zone. I don't know why I started to do that, but I like it like that. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact in Light 15 with my e.l.f. Complexion Brush. And then since this palette really doesn't have a good matte brow bone highlight, I'm going to use that same um, NARS powder on a no-name brush as my brow bone highlight. take some of the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer in the palette on a Delium Tools 945 brush and I'm going to contour and warm up my face with this. On my neck I like to use my um, Delium Tools bronzer brush which I need to grab. It's in here with me. I film in a different room from where my makeup is. I don't know if y'all knew that so I have to bring everything in here with me and inevitably I forget something but I have that with me today so that's good. If I ever feel like my bronzer is a little bit too much, I'll go back in with my um, foundation brush and just kind of blend a little bit. Kind of takes it down a notch. I do this a lot with my foundation brush. I just do a lot of blending with it. Brush hair. And this is what the bronzer brush looks like. I love this little guy. It is so good. It's like the perfect shape. It's perfect for bronzing up my neck. And 
Then I'm gonna get some of the blush, and this is called Fame. On a this is a Tarte brush. I got it in a set several years ago, so I don't know if they sell this individually, but I like it. I like these kind of um, blush brushes that are shaped like this. And then I'm gonna take some of the highlight. This is Champagne Pink on a Sedona Lays 313 brush. I really like this for um, highlight and actually under eye setting too. It's a really nice kind of like, it's not really a tulip shaped brush, but I don't know. It's a slightly like dome sort of interesting brush that works well for multiple things. I'm going to take a little bit of that highlighter on a Delium Tools 716 brush and apply that to the inner corners of my eyes just for a little bit of brightness there. And then sometimes I'll go back in with a little bit of the color I used on my lower lash line and just kind of reapply some of that because sometimes it gets lost when I'm doing my concealer. And then I can just blend any harsh lines with that concealer brush. And then for lips today, I'm going to be using this one. This is Bite Beauty's Luminous Cream Lipstick in Red Sina. Just a really pretty nude color. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Let me know down below or give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of get ready with me type videos because I can definitely do more of them for you. Let me know what you think about this palette. I really, really enjoy it. I'm so glad that I got it, but I would love to hear your opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm always happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!